hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to look at system d and we will quickly cover this topic so what system d is and what is in it see in earlier versions of linux red hat linux specifically we had this in it process or in it service so up to uh, red hat enterprise linux 6 and uh, CentOS or Community Enterprise OS 6. So we had init process. So init or initial, this was the initial process, first process or service with the PID of number 1. It would in turn start or run other processes and services as and when they were required. Now let's say um, there is a process, for example, sshd so it is it is a network service right we we use it to connect to a server or system remotely so this is a network based service so this service would be required in multi-user environment so wherever uh, uh, so in earlier versions we were having run levels so run level one was like a single user mode run level two was multi-user mode without networking and run level three was the uh, actual multi-user mode with the networking enabled so if my system had uh, uh, only run level three configured as the default run level that means my system would boot up and get into the run level 3 i would get the command prompt or the shell prompt to uh, do my work and other users can connect to it remotely so network services would be available any network service so ssg would be started in run level 3 not in run level 1 or run level 2 but any but about that level also we can use it for example run level 4 run level 5 run level 5 is a graphical user interface now in terms of system d what happens system d also is the first process so it has the pid of 1 and it has targets instead of calling them run levels we call them targets so we have a multi user target we also have a graphical user interface target we have a basic target we have other targets available so we call them targets instead of run levels okay so in run level 6 it is a reboot thing so and run level 0 it's a shutdown thing so we have targets instead of run levels how does it make any difference the difference is in the way system d works now system d can start multiple services or processes at the same time that means parallel so parallelly it can start multiple processes it has its own mechanisms so through which it can do that and there are number of units units means um, uh, let's suppose we have targets we have sockets we have files we have paths we have uh, um, scopes etc these are called units so targets are units we'll we'll quickly have a look at that cd into this directory system d you see what files are there system.conf that is the uh, global configuration file you can um, have a look at it and modify the parameters present there if you require they will have global impact positive negative as the case may be now let's go into this directory system and you see there are many directories or subdirectories are linked files they are but we are interested only in this file at this moment default dot target as you can see it's a link it's a it's a soft link so it is linked to this uh, uh, directory path and this file multi user dot target so for this particular uh, system the default run level okay uh, 
uh, so we will call it now target because we are using red at uh, 7 or 8 so we will call it targets earlier we would say run level so here the default run level or default target is multi user target so this multi user target we are uh, we have set it so we you can set this uh, uh, soft link to another target in this directory let's see so what other we can have star dot target see there are many targets available there you see shutdown target rescue target we had this as run levels earlier so and if i remove this part target here all these are links so we have dot service we have dot mount we have dot target and many other things so these are called units so you can check all those units here now interesting thing system ctl that is the command we need to run if you want to start stop any service for example i want to say the status of ssd as you can see i am currently running a party and accessing this server remotely though it is a, a virtual machine uh, hosted on my windows 10 laptop i am accessing it remotely so you can see that this service dot service here sir dot service so service is a type of unit so just like target is a unit so the unit type is service and ssd service we are talking about what this uh, service does it is mentioned here in short and currently it is loaded and it is enabled that means if my system reboots or starts up this service would be started automatically for me i don't have to do that manual work because it is enabled enabled means enabled for starting up at system startup or reboot that's it current status is active and running so that means this service is working fine as of now and for how long you can see this time here you have other uh, related information here that what manual page you can use uh, to check the you know, details of this service now let's use the traditional method so service command we were using earlier in um, red hat 5 6 and you know older versions so status you see i just fired this sir uh, this command service sst status now automatically it has been handed over to system ctl and system ctl has run the command we did earlier system ctl status sst dot service we can specify dot service or we can just you know uh, remove it no problem so we have the older versions is still being supported in red hat 7 8 and newer releases and the rest of the information is same as before now system ctl i want to see dependencies so you can see list you can you can say list dash dependencies dependencies for what ssd so this ssd service sitting at the top and it depends on this item source services it's very easy here you see system ctl for example your web server httpd so we want to see the status of this service you can mention dot service at the end of it it is better but you can 
just uh, ignore that part so you see it is enabled and it is currently running so my web server is running apache web server if i want to stop it i can stop it check the status now this time no green signal is there it is loaded it is enabled that will remain there because it has been configured but currently it is inactive or dead it's not running it's not active it's not working so anybody accessing your website will not be able to see the website okay because this website has been shut down or has been brought down right now currently it is down now you can start it again no news is good news so it's running again now you can also do a restart so it will stop it and then start it again let me show you another example I duplicate this session and let me fit this window in here so I'm trying to log in as a root I'm logged in it works fine no problem now if I do this thing here system CTL stop SSH D and we can check the status so currently the service has become dead it's not available anymore but this current session is still working no problem let's duplicate this session you see network error connection refused because the port 22 is not listening now that's why we had this uh, socket problem net state grab colon 22 so what we are trying to do is we are checking the network statistics we are giving some uh, options so p4 process name we want to see the process name we want all processes we we don't want uh, ip2 name resolution so i have said no to that and then i'm filtering out my results so i look for only those lines that contain uh, to contain this uh, number colon 22 so you see colon 22 this line is there and established so there is one particular session which is still established which is this uh, current session you see but there is no port listening that is the difference guys there is no line that says listening okay we will we'll just verify it quickly start it you may encounter this situation in your organization in your project where you get alerts that this service is not working or users are not able to log in then you know what you need to do quickly now let's check the status first it's back running now now let's see what this command gives us now so you see established is still there now we have these two uh, demands or processes in the listening mode so let's initiate a duplicate session and we have the login prompt there it means it is up and running the service is working we can actually log in now So this is how system CTL works. You can run this command main system CTL to check its uh, manual pass. In depth understanding you can gain from there also. So as I said it, I would make it short.
but it is going a bit lengthy now because it's already 15 minutes so i'll stop here because i'll i would like to cover things you know in chunks so we'll go bits by bits that way because uh, learning anything is like a you know huge elephant so you can if you want to eat that elephant you can eat it bite by bite so i'll cover up other topics related topics in my next video thank you guys for watching bye bye